I'm Pat Hillard. We're in our apartment here in Norfolk. We have been slowly but surely renovating this apartment, trying to make it as comfortable as possible and as stylish as possible so that we can enjoy downtown Norfolk and also be proud of where we live. Both of our children are grown, married, having their own children. So we wanted to just downsize. We sold the house, the four bedroom, two and a half bath home in Suffolk and moved to downtown Norfolk. This small condo unit, when you walk in, that you see the living space immediately because it is a kitchen and living area combination. That's the main and only real living space. And then we have two bedrooms, one nice size master bedroom and one small bedroom that I've turned into an office. One of the problems we've had is storage, of course, because we're coming from 3,200 square feet into essentially 1,050 square feet. And then the other problem we're having is just making sure that each little piece that we add enhances the space because every little thing is important and is more magnified in such a small area. So now we're finally putting the last pieces of the puzzle in place and we really need an entertainment center that gives storage, looks great, and provides a framework for the TV without making the TV the centerpiece in the room. We initially tried to do it ourselves. We made the mistake of ordering online an entertainment center that looked great in the picture. It came in several boxes. I start putting the thing together, and as I start putting it together, I'm already shaking my head thinking, this is a piece of junk. This is not gonna work. And the further it went, the worse it got. Right around then, we saw one of uh, Closet Factory's coupons, and it had a picture, fortuitously, of an entertainment center that I saw and I said, that's perfect. If we can almost replicate that in our space, that would be great. But I'm sure I can't afford it. I'm sure they're gonna be way expensive. I'm sure that this process is just gonna be something that's out of hand and too expensive for us. Uh, pleasantly surprised when I called, met with the designer. Uh, couldn't have asked for a better meeting with the designer. She put me at ease. She showed me some ideas started building it on the computer. So one of the things that Tamara helped coach me through was let's try to not maybe match things, but blend. And let's blend the color of the entertainment center with something on the other end of this living space, which is gonna be our kitchen area with the cabinets and the black uh, granite. As it happened, when I renovated the part of the kitchen and replaced the granite uh, for the hop-up bar, I saved a big piece of black granite, and Tamara and I talked about that, and she said, that would be beautiful if you incorporate that into the entertainment center. So I'm really, really hoping that this is gonna fit, that the measurements are right, because that granite, we're not gonna cut. The color of the uh, wood finish on the entertainment center and the piece of granite, we hope, will help blend with the other side of the room. It will change our lives by helping us finally finish getting things out of boxes and getting things organized and also being able to relax in our living space without having that feeling that this whole thing is unfinished and we still have a long way to go to get organized and get settled. There's a difference between moving in and getting settled. This is gonna help us be settled. So I'm really looking forward to this. I hope it comes out the way she shows it if it does, you're going to have a happy customer. Good morning. Today we're building a, an entertainment center. Uh, it's going to have some gl nice glass shelves in it, glass doors, um, and it'll pretty much take up this whole entire wall from the edge of the window uh, to the doorway. So it'll kind of change the look and feel of this room. You have up in the top there, you'll notice there's uh, the, the fire protection system. We made adjustments for that, well, Tamara did. Other than that, um, just making sure that the customer has access to their cable and the electrical outlets that they need for it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pin up all these panels um, and then start getting everything built together.
Alright, so almost uh, done getting the structure built. Um, and then uh, once you get to that point, then I'll start leveling everything out and getting attached, uh, the structure attached to the wall. That way everything is stable and nice and safe. In, in in your bedroom on the carpet. Hey, I'm hey. here. Hey, Tamara, how you doing? I'm awesome, thanks. How are you? I'm doing well. Any surprises? There's always surprises. Some are good, <laughs> some are bad. But you handled all of them. In progress. Okay. Things, I, are, things are moving along. I thought there was going to be more of a contrast. That's actually nice together. It's very subtle. Mm -hmm. Well, the the hard rock, you know, kind of the natural. It's about as close as you're going to get to natural. Yes. With a, with a melamine. So. It is. It really is. It's it's a great color. I think that's why we've had it in our product line for like 20 years. Mm -hmm. Um. And it lightens lightens up. He was talking, a uh, customer was talking earlier about, you know, not going with something dark. That's what they had had in their, mm -hmm. in their house, but doing something to lighten up and kind of, you know, there's only one window in here, so. Yeah, it's a different look for them. Mm-hmm. Okay. But everything's going good so far. Everything's been pretty smooth. Well, I'm going to run some errands and... I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. Because you're you're close to finished. Um, I'll be starting trim probably in about 20 minutes. Okay. All right. That sounds like a plan. So I'll see you okay. in a little bit. Okay. Thank All you. Right. You're welcome. All right. So we're at a point now where we've gotten. The structure is up, the structure is secure, the doors are on. I've got a couple of uh, flip up, two flip up doors and two flip down doors that I'm working on. And then once that gets done, we'll be starting on the trim. More from the archives. Enjoy the Closet Factory flashback. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes. Is it beautiful oh, wow. or what? Look at this. Look at this. So let's start by looking at the island. This is, um, I love the island. You know, it's nice when a closet has enough wow. space in it for an island because it just adds wow. so much. You know, you have the space to sit down here and try on your shoes or put your shoes Yay. on. Um, we put this raised panel on the back of it, which I love the color. It's fantastic. And of course, down here, we have this really deep drawer for blankets or for thicker items that you want to put in Socks. there. Socks. 
Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you want to put in there. Socks. Yes. Yeah. And then over here, this is Steve. Of course, Steve's side. He has a jewelry insert in the top that he can put his sunglasses, cuff links, watches. Kind of love it. And we have tie racks over here for all his ties. There's about 40. He can hang about 40 ties up here. So he's got Amazing. plenty of tie storage. Very so I'm excited about him seeing a laundry basket down here for him. Very good. Very and good. then over here, of course, we have this long hanging here in this section. And of course, everything is adjustable. So if you want to move the rods or the shelves, Very good. all of that can be moved up and down. And then we've got a slide out belt rack for hanging his belts on. Love it. And then this is super cool, the um, slide out pants racks. Oh rack. my gosh, yes. So there are 16 individual hangers for his pants. And He's actually with that it. one, there are 32. So we'll have space for 32 pairs of pants. A rod up here. And of course, we did the upgraded round rods, which are just beautiful. These are really nice. And then to take advantage of the height, we did the wardrobe lift. Wow. Yeah. So wow. he can hang his, his off-season clothes at the top, or, I mean, he can hang his in-season clothes up there. And it just, Perfect. because of the height, because of the 10-foot panels, we're able to do the wardrobe lift. So he has two of those, oh, so which are really, really nice. See, now this is one of our favorite items. This is the valet rod, and this is so cool because you just bring your, your dry cleaning in, or what I love it for is just hanging my clothes that I'm gonna wear the next day. And I was just thinking about when he has to pack to go out of town, we're getting ready to pack. They, they come in really handy to separate what you're gonna take. So then we move to your side. Yay! And of course, you designed your side a little differently than Steve's. Um, we didn't do any additional boring on here and we measured your clothes to make sure that the spacing of the rods would be sufficient for your clothing and then you have your wardrobe lift up here that eliminates the overcrowding of the off-season clothes for me be able to put it up a little higher right. i like that so then your drawer bank of course we designed it exactly the way you wanted it we have the really cool double jewelry drawer oh, yes, that you yes, asked yes. for how cool is that? That's beautiful. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is really, that's beautiful. So I, I guess love you'll it. use that for all your earrings and watches. And this is, has ring storage and long necklaces. and So you know. handy, just having everything right there, just, just reachable. It's, I love it. And of course, this area up here. All my handbags, you can see. Handbags, and again, mm -hmm. if you need more shelves, no problem. All of these are adjustable. We did all the boring up here, so you'd have full adjustability and to add shelves you know, whatever you need. So over here, we have the long hanging that you talked about, two sections of long hanging. And again, we didn't do any boring down here because there was no need to since you knew exactly how many long hanging garments you had and how much space you needed. So, but you do have adjustability on the shelves above. And I believe you're gonna put shoes and boxes and, you know. It's good. And then you've got all of this double hanging, just tons of double hanging. Yeah and shelves above. So Lucy, the last thing we have is your uh, full length mirror that we did that you asked for. I was totally surprised by the frame on this mirror. I truly was. I was not expecting it. I just thought a mirror, your basic um, yeah. on the wall mirror. But this frame added so much to it. It's connected with yeah. the island and I love it. We really appreciate having worked with you. It was really, really great. Thank well, it's you. It's been great for us too. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Much. Okay, Lucy, thank, thank you. you. Yay. It was a stellar job by Closet Factory and I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. So now it's on to the next job. Hi, I am Tamara, and I am excited for you to see my latest project. I designed this entertainment center, or wall unit, based on a picture that my client showed me at our first appointment. So knowing that all pictures are you know, for a specific space and me having to compensate for the space that I am given, I did a little bit of tweaking, but it's just turning out absolutely 
wonderful. I was here a little while ago, and now I'm coming back to see the final project. Nick is just about finished, so follow me in and take a look at this creation. All right, just finished up. Tamara's in the other room talking with the client. All packed up, tools ready to go. Everything's done, ready for the next job. This well. is exactly what I was hoping for. In fact, I would say this is much better than I was hoping for. This Does it look like the picture? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect anything like this could be done in one day. Um, I've done some projects myself, albeit smaller ones, and it would have taken me a month to do what was done here in one day. Do you like the glass in the doors? A perfect touch because it breaks up the surface and visually gives it something interesting and pops. The other thing that's nice about the glass, of course, is then the remote will work. Absolutely. Your suggestion of doing the upper cabinets at a slightly different level so that you have this level and then the higher roomier cabinets was a great suggestion. It gives it a visual break in the line and it just looks great and it's going to be so usable. I love the touches. Well, you wanted two hard rock maple doors, so that's what these are with the flip down. Well, I, di I didn't expect it to be um, so beefy, which I love. One of the things I love also is the trim pieces. It just gives it the finish it needs. The walls are not straight, so Nick, the installer, did a beautiful job trimming it in. He's a craftsman. He did a really great job. It just looks fantastic. I would have never been able to do this. Nick is a professional. Nick did the little things that make the installation really pop. For example, he had great suggestions on how to trim it out. We had one little thing that we had to look at together with the granite, the way it didn't quite sit on the wall because the wall is not regular. He had a great suggestion on how to finish trimming that out with another piece of trim that came out beautifully. He's, a, he's an artisan, he was a craftsman, did some extra things that I asked him to do in terms of trimming out a couple of the gaps. So very impressed with Nick, couldn't have been any better and he stayed in good humor all day long, which is not easy when you're doing a, a meticulous job like this. The color is perfect for the room. And it's a two-tone. I love these two colors together. It's, very, it's a very subtle, complementary pair of colors, and the black top makes it pop. How about the grommets? Wasn't that an interesting way we're going to run the wires on down and through? And the wires are going to be behind the widest part of the television and go in through the side. So it's going to feed through this cabinet and down, and then through this cabinet and into your glass. All the wires will be hidden, but yet everything will be fully run through. Compared to the stuff that I was trying to buy online, mail order, it's just no comparison. This is, this is a skilled craftsman job. I mean, the, the soft closed doors, the way everything fits perfectly, and the way that we've maximized the space of this small wall is just great. So the design is the key to that, I think. And the design of some of the, um, for instance, in the corner here, I had a couple of ideas about what to do with the corner space. And our designer, Tamara, said, uh, better think about that again. Let's do it this way so that you can maximize your use of your space. So I think those kinds of suggestions are what becomes invaluable when you're trying to make a, a space work uh, optimally. And it's so much storage. And when you live in a unit this size, storage is a premium. Absolutely. You need places to put things, to hide things. Well, we've been waiting for this because we have stuff still in boxes that need to go in here. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's right on time. You had a very clear vision of what you wanted and you know took us a couple of appointments and then even then you weren't entirely sure and Colette was a little apprehensive because she couldn't visualize it right. but you trusted me and that just means a lot to me and I 
think we did a pretty good job delivering. The material's great. I was a little bit worried, in fact, Colette, my wife, was a little bit worried about it being melamine. Uh, turned out that's the best choice uh, because it's straight, it's true, and this is much higher quality than you would get at a big box store. I would say it's an absolute custom job using materials smartly. In other words, materials that are already pre-cut and pre-ready and then come on site and then custom fit those materials so that it looks good. Thank you for such a great design. Oh gosh, you're welcome. You know, before it was just a TV sitting on a TV stand where the TV was the focal point. Now the TV just blends into this, which is your artwork. I love the fact that you used the piece of granite that came out of the kitchen when we did the kitchen remodel. It ties everything together. Blends with the cabinets in the kitchen. And for this small space, this will maximize our usage of this area. It's just beautiful. I am so excited about this finished product. It really came out better than I expected. It's even better than what the designer, Tamara, had shown me on the computer. I can't believe how well it blends and how much it enhances this space. I'm so excited. I can't wait now to have people over. We've been kind of holding off to have friends over, to have our little house warming, and have a little wine and cheese. Now I want to have it tomorrow. Very, very cool. I'm going to recommend you guys to everybody I know. The money that we spent compared to the quality of work that we received, the value that we have here, I would never have gotten anywhere else that I can think of. Closet Factory, that's who's going to do my jobs like this from now on. I love what I do. I get to take spaces that are otherwise empty and create these magnificent works of art that can then solve a client's organizational needs. And it's so rewarding. And I love it when they're happy. So it's been a good day. And I'm really thankful to be able to do what I do for Closet Factory.